Today I'm going to replace a motor in the Sima X5C. There are a whole bunch of little screws that you have to take out and then the uh, body of the quadcopter will split in half and you can you can pull it apart. The motor is located in this little shaft here and this unit will pull off from a little peg that holds it right there. Now we need to be pretty careful because these little plastic gears uh, have to mesh and as I pull the motor out I don't want to damage the big gear and so I'll use a pair of scissors just to poke that uh, motor to get it started so I can pull it up out of the shaft. Now the motor is threaded up through the housing and then it goes on over to the circuit board. And what I'm thinking, instead of uh, unsoldering at the circuit board, I think I'll clip the wires about in half, and then I'll solder the, uh, the new motor onto those wires. That way, um, if I have to replace them again, I'm not, I'm not continuously soldering and unsoldering on the circuit board. Now, there are two different motors on these quadcopters. One spins clockwise and one spins counterclockwise. And so you need to match up your, your color-coded wires to make sure that you're installing the right motor. So the first thing I'll do is thread the uh, wires up through the motor housing here. And then we'll get the, get the wires stripped and ready to solder. So there we go. We'll slide the motor down through the shaft, being very careful to uh, line up those gears as it's going down through. We don't want to damage those little plastic gears. So I decided to take a magnifying glass here and get a close look at those gears, see if there's any damage. They look good. And so here we'll strip the wires and we'll get ready to solder. I've got quite a bit of experience soldering and uh, these are very small wires and so we just want to just touch those wires and apply the solder. Not too much heat. Next I've cut a small piece of electrical tape and I'm going to slide one half of it over the top of the wire where I've soldered and then I'll fold the, the other half under and squeeze it together and it should act like a, a pretty good insulator right there. So now it's time to slide the motor housing back down into the body and get things ready to uh, snap back together. Uh, I've replaced just one motor. It seemed like uh, it was just one motor that was having problems so I thought rather than replace them all I'll put the quadcopter back together and test it and we'll uh, we'll see how it works. These uh, These bodies are made very well they slide right together and you can hear a click as you as you go around that quadcopter and uh, line things up and squeeze it together these little tabs will click right in pretty well made little body here now I'll just test the shafts make sure they spin and I did notice that the the one I replaced does not spin as freely as the other three and so I'm kind of wondering about that. It's like the gears have not uh, seated. They're, they're lined up, but they just, uh, there's a little bit more friction. All right, now we'll, we'll pair the uh, quadcopter with the controller and turn it on and see what happens here. And the motor does spin. All the motors are spinning. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, put the propellers back on. I've taken a fine point permanent marker. When I took each propeller off, I numbered them on the back side just so I wouldn't get things mixed up. Now the propeller screws are longer than the other screws and when I took them out I took a piece of electrical tape and I stuck those four screws to the tape and I, I labeled it with a little piece of paper because I, I was waiting a week or two to get the uh, new motors and so when the new motors arrived I wanted to make sure that I'd remember how to put things back together. So we've got all four blades 
screwed back on. Now we're going to test the this problem thing, I was having is the quadcopter would not lift off the ground. And it appears to be doing the same thing. So that single motor replacement didn't solve the problem. So I took the quadcopter all apart again and I replaced the other three motors. Now here we are testing it. And we're going to see what it. Oh, yeah. It acts like it wants to lift off now. So we'll go ahead and put the blade guards back on. And um, I left the screws right in each one of the guards. They they seemed like they wouldn't fall out. That's the thing. There's, there's a bunch of little screws in the body of this thing. There's five screws in each one of the arms here. One, two, three, four, five. And so as you go around, four arms, that's 20 screws. Then there's four in the middle. As you take your uh, skids off, underneath the skids, there's, there's screws there. So here we are upstairs. We're going to check it out, see what happens. And it looks like the quadcopter's flying once again. So I had to replace all these four cheap, motors. Uh, quadcopters. The motors will burn out. And they're, they're pretty cheap. Two, three dollars a piece, so you want to order extra ones. They'll heat up and uh, you know the motors will burn out. I hope my video was helpful for you, and if it was, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Tim Tools 99. Bye bye.